Uh, before we get into this video, I just want to have a quick listen to this clip. ...about OBJ. Um, and then how's it going to affect, you know, Lamar as a passer? You know, how's he going to play? We want to maximize Lamar's ability. I've probably done a poor job of doing that over the last couple of years in some ways. by not having more receivers around him. Um, and we love the guys we have. But, you know, in terms of building the best possible offense, um, that's a factor too. So... You know, every situation has residual values associated. Every player that you bring in um, is different, and they affect things differently. Leadership, ability, community, whatever that might be, long-term. And we see OBJ as a big part of that whole thing. Lovely. And that was, of course, a clip um, from his interview that he did with Mike Florio of Pro Football Talk, uh, who I know a lot of Ravens fans are. Who I know a lot of Ravens fans are not big fans of, but e either way, um, Eric DaCosta there, uh, he admitting admitted something very, very big that, that he could have done a much better job in some ways of building around Lamar, providing more for Lamar, especially to help him uh, as a passer, as the quarterback of the Ravens, as their guy. And even if you go back to uh, the, the actual presser, Eric DaCosta was asked, how would you evaluate these past four or five years building around Lamar? He said, I'd probably give ourselves a B. Uh, we've done a lot of good things, but we haven't achieved what we want to. Lamar stood up there in 2018 and said what we're going to do. The team isn't set yet, but we have a few months to build it up. We're a B right now, but on the way to being an A. And I thought both of those two, the consistency with both of those two things that he said, um, because they they have done a lot of good, they have done a lot of good, but it's that one position where they struggled, where they just they should have done a lot more. And for me, this is obviously y'all know we've been talking about this for years. We've been talking about the receiver position for years that they just needed to do more there. They have taken a very safe. Uh, very just almost a sort of lazy approach to where it's like, all right, we're we, we going to do whatever. We, 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 we'll get by with some guy. Let's just get, no, we'll get him over there. We'll get him over there. Okay, whatever, bro. We'll try it out. If it works, cool. If it doesn't, whatever. Not that they're saying that, but just the approach. The approach has been very, uh, just not an all-in approach. Now, the draft, uh, early in the draft, the Rashad Bateman, it's a good try. I like that one. Hollywood Brown, it's a good try. I like that one. Um, and I know th besides that, cause I know everybody, oh, they drafted the most receivers over the past however many years. I think four years, five years, whatever. Um, while that may be true, again, quality over quantity. It's not all about the number. Uh, it's all about where those numbers are at, if you get what I'm saying. Um, but I, I really appreciate Eric DaCosta being, will being willing to admit that because this is how you know it's real in my opinion, um, because he gains nothing from admitting that. Well, except a lot of respect from a lot of people who have been saying that for years. But that's something that he did not have to do. He, he did not have to. During that interview, he did not have to admit like, hey, we could have done a better job. Hey, I should have done a better job. Hey, I didn't do as good of a job as I could have. Da, 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 da. He didn't have to admit that. He didn't have to admit that because he could have just been like, Hey, we tried our best, but now we're here now. We're moving forward. Hey, we did some great things in the past, but now we're trying to do even greater things in the future moving forward. He could have, you know, I mean, Eric DeCosta, he got all the answers in the book for, for a question. like for, 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 I mean, not even a question like that, for, but for that to sort of, uh, he could have given those responses. But he didn't. He didn't. He admitted something that was huge. But I appreciated that so much. I really did. I, I really did because... It's one thing when you move, you move as if, if, if you are perfect. It's one thing when you move as if you don't make mistakes. It's one thing when you move as if you, you are doing everything to the best of your ability, you're doing everything the right way, you're doing everything perfectly. But it's a completely different thing uh, when you move with humility, uh, when you move with humbleness, when you move uh, like that and you're willing to say something. And again, Actions speak louder than words, but this offseason's actions have spoke very loudly. We can hear it. We can hear it. 
And we see the Ravens are taking a completely different approach than anything, than any approach they've ever taken before. Who are these guys? Who are these Ravens? I've been so glad to, 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 to meet them, to get to know them. I'm going to have a lot of fun getting to know them. Because I like the direction that they headed in. Because this just gives me such a brighter outlook for the Baltimore Ravens' future, the way they've been doing things this offseason. Again, a lot of us have wished this was happening years ago. Years ago. It should have happened years ago, but it didn't. Okay, we're here now. Let's see what goes down now. So with, with, with these Ravens, um, and again, Eric DaCosta, he, he gains nothing from saying that. that, that that's how I know it was real. Like, it ain't nothing like he can capitalize on. It ain't nothing that's like... He gains nothing from saying that. And it, it just... It brings up a lot of... Uh, I don't want to say bad memories. But it just brings up all the wrong. It just gives everybody a reminder of all the wrongs that that they've done, that they've made at the receiver position. They've done some rights there, too. Again, we mentioned Hollywood. We mentioned uh, Bateman and whatnot. And, and a lot of it, too, was the, the type of offense. But that's that's another part of it, too. With being loyal to a fault, being loyal to a fault. Now, my guy Kev did bring up something when it comes to Ravens, uh, them their, their continuity, and the fact that they like it so much. And, and continuity is big because I, I know I, I've seen the, the joke. I seen it be joked about like if you're on a job interview, and um, if you're on a job interview, and well, hey, why should we hire you? That's a question that a lot of them will ask. Why should we hire you? I've been on a lot of job interviews. Yes, they, they do that. Ask that. That's real. Um, but in turn, I've seen people say, you should ask them, why should, why should I work here? Why should I work here? Especially if it's a place where they got a high turnover rate and they have a lack of continuity. It's like, oh, man, what's, like, what's going to happen to me in a couple months? Even less than a year, y'all got people quitting, getting fired left and right. Well, what's that about? So when you look at the Ravens, they've been pretty stable for a while. They've had continuity. John Harbaugh been there coaching since 2008. It's 2023. That's a long time to be a coach. That's a long time. And I think, how many losing seasons they done had? Two? 2015, 2021, right? So what, he went 8 and 9 and 21, I think? In 2015, what was it, 5 and 11? Whatever it was. But either way, um, and those were the years that, like, the whole, like, the teams were decimated with injuries. Like, there'd be a lot of injuries, but those two years were, like, some of the worst. So that's that's a lot of continuity. But again, we 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 going everywhere right now. What I what I was get what I was getting at was with Greg Roman, with Eric DaCosta, John Harbaugh, their continuity with Greg Roman. My my guy Kev made a good point about this. He was like, maybe they didn't fire him sooner because they wanted they wanted continuity. Because with Joe Flacco, he had QB coach after QB coach, offensive coordinator after offensive coordinator. He just had so much of everything. It it was all over the place. But maybe they didn't want to go down that road uh, with a, a Lamar Jackson. And I told him, hmm, that's a really, really good point. Now, they should have still made a move, but that is, that's, no, seriously, that's a really, really good point. And I had never thought about it that way before. But I'm glad they are, uh, they did start to make some changes. Because these are, these, change, these are changes that have been needed to, needed to be made a long time ago, man. Long time ago. Um, but we're here now. So, again, I, I just wanted to really give Eric DeCosta his credit, man, because I, I, I really appreciate when people can be straightforward. Um, this is what I always talk about, because uh, when, when we bring up the, uh, like the Ravens, for example, we bring up the Ravens, bring up um, how, because people will be like, oh, if, hey, would you ever consider working for the Ravens? And I think about it, I said, man, I, I would love to work with the Ravens. But as far as for the Ravens, hey, who knows? If they would allow me to be honest about stuff, I would love that. I would love that. But um, that's one thing I'd be worried about. If they would allow me to be honest. And, re and I say all that to say this because I know, like, if for, for companies, for, for franchises, for teams, uh, they, a lot of them, not just the Ravens, it's just companies in general. If you work for them, they only want you to put out the good about them. And, and you can understand why. They don't want you as an employee putting out the bad about them. They want you to put out the good. Good. Hey, we do this good. We do that great. Da, da, da. And Ravens do so much stuff great. They really do. They do a lot of stuff good, too. But they do also have some areas that they need to work on stuff. But um, if you're an employee, you probably don't get to talk about that stuff like that. 
You probably can't point stuff out like that. Oh, Ravens need to do this better. Oh, they should have done that better. Oh, they need to do this better. No. And not to say that's the only thing that you focus on. You know, on here we, that's not the only thing we focus on. We focus on both the good, the bad, everything. Everything. But this is, see, this is why I appreciate what Eric DeCosta said so much. Because he addressed the bad. And in my opinion, and, I, and I've said this before. This is not the first time I'm saying this. In my opinion, if the Ravens, not even just the Ravens, but really any team, if they would obviously continue to point out the good like they have been doing, but also if they were willing to be able to put the, put the bad stuff on front street too. Like, man, we got to do this a lot better. Man, we really did a terrible job of that today. Man, we did really bad at that today. Whatever the case may be. I think that would just give people such a deeper respect for how the franchise carries themselves, how they operate. If, if somebody, and, and, that, that, and this is just me personally, and this is just how I feel about people in general too. Not just with the franchise or companies or whatever, but just people in general. If there are people who they are willing to admit, hey, I messed up. Hey, I, I didn't do it the best way that I could. Hey, I did it wrong. Hey, I was wrong. I respect that so much. So much. That's why I, I loved that part of the interview with Eric DaCosta and Mike Florio. Because he was willing to do that. So shout out to Eric DaCosta, man. Um, and it's not like, oh, man, well, this offseason has been so great. We forgot about the past offseason. Oh, we forget. <laughs> we forget. It was a lot of good in those too, but it was also some like, ooh, what is going on here, buddy? But um, it'll be nice to compare. And this will just be one season. So one season at a time. But it'll be nice to compare this season to those seasons. Especially, again, health, too. And again, they, they did make a significant change in their health department with the whole Steve Saunders thing. So we'll see how big of an impact that makes, how big of an impact that has. So I'm just I'm, I'm excited to see these Ravens in um, the direction that they're heading in. So, again, shout out to Eric DaCosta. Thank you for speaking on that because we all appreciated it. Cause we, I mean, we all knew it. We all been talking about it, but it was nice to hear it directly from you. We out.